and Pharos grand finale. Yeah. <coughs> to kill a plant. The fluffy plant. Uh, no, no, no. That would be fitting. No, we're not playing Undertale. <coughs> uh. There's no pacifist ending here. I mean, I don't know, do get even count? Uh, I don't know, ask Grace. Aww. Going through! Well, let's see, then. They are getting more than they have about this video. Yes, but don't forget, the whole reason why the get Geth Korean War happened was because they became they were becoming sentient. And uh, yeah. Or at least that's what we're told. Considering yeah, I mean, considering nobody stops to actually ask the Koreans, I don't really know. Yeah, hey Tali, do you know something? If only we could ask. I mean, it's also entirely possible they just glitched and started killing everything. Well, that's pleasant. Wonderful. That thing was not one of the colonists. No amount of infection could have done that. No hitting the colonists, even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. As you would have it, Commander Shepard. Now, naturally, we don't have enough grenades for that. Fortunately, melee bash works just as well. Don't know. But first, these things. You know? Picking Rex and Calicus is actually a pretty brilliant idea because they're both shotgun proficient. <laughs> Accidental genius. Pretty much. Shit. Over to. Hey, that works. Blast radius is larger than I expected. Yeah. Tally, still hurting though. My one to heal her. Uh, oh, first aid is a different button. Did not heal her a whole lot. So I see. Should I have to remember to get in fucking cover? Oh, by the way. <coughs> oh. Must go down. Shut up. Nighty night. Probably see you. I think that's the one yet. Or something like that. This is where it gets all messy. Huh, miscalculated it. They definitely want to keep us from the ship. We've got to move one of those cargo blocks. <sighs> got us. There we go. Storm into him. So you not just melee bash? Yeah. Oh, hey! Grenades! Oh, yeah, that's what's really useful. I mean, I guess it makes sense that the statement that requires you to use a lot of grenades would actually have some for you to use. Yeah, it is nice. Come and get it. I keep looking at the names of those things and I keep expecting them, expecting them to go. Hmm. Huh, that is a 
big blast radius. I threw that grenade over mm -hmm. here. I mean, if the little liquid thorium creeper. Yeah. And they are plant based like the creepers. I tried to fight it, but it gets in your head. You can't imagine the pain. I was supposed to be their leader. These people trusted me. It wants Just me to throw a grenade! Stop, but I won't! I won't! Well done, Shepard. Classical lemon syndrome. You fucking idiot. I have six more grenades that I could have chucked at this poor bastard. Instead, I just stood here. Like a lemon. Oh, wait, no, that's not what, 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 what they're hearing. They were hearing a growl, I just heard the music. I mean, you heard both. Yeah. Renegade Zero. Renegade Zero, what? Uh, that means I didn't. I, none of the colonists got killed. Okay, then. Uh, you get Paragon for every colonist that survives, and Renegade for every colonist that dies. I don't know. Actually, I don't know if that's the best weapon to use here. Oh, that's that's really all I have, unless I want to use a rail extension, which I guess could work. And do I have any hammerhead rounds or equivalents? Not really. Rex has got the only one. Hmm. Uh, tungsten, no, that's synthetics. I need shredder. Because everything down here is going to be organic, more than likely. Yep. Shotgun. Reminds me. Oh, he's, yeah, he's using hammerhead rounds, so he'll knock them back. Really useful. She's got anti-personnel grade 2. Let's upgrade those. Really weird, That's a very big plan. Alright, we just need to find this creature and determine what it... What is that? We are going to need bigger guns. <laughs> you don't say. I was wondering why isn't it affecting any of us whatsoever? Because it would take time. Ah, uh, I guess. Just try not to inhale. Doing a thing. Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A Why is it always a side? You as meat, uh -huh. good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You gave something to Saren. Something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. Give me what I need, and I'll strike back at the one who betrayed you. No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Your blood will fill the ground with a new growth. Right. How do we actually kill that thing? Tally's down. Yeah. People just bled on the head. 
And she's fine. This kind of thing is that I was the form of attack. Okay, I can't really use a shotgun. It was worth a try. You have taken no proficiency in shotguns. How do we hurt the Thorian? Ah, it's a hard intersection mission. Yep. I don't think I like that. That hurt it. I can tell. A few more of those and it's in trouble. Oh, it's eaten. Oh, did you want to shoot the very left of the from pretty far away? I think it's pretty angry. You don't say. You know, I don't need to worry about conserving my nades anymore, so... That is the wrong bloody button. That probably didn't do as much as I hoped it would. Probably. Can I get up now? Fucking biotics. Maybe. Yeah, that's not perfect. It's almost like you have my skill in rifles and zero skill in shotguns. Really? Is that what it was? Possibly. Price getting in front of you doesn't help. No, it doesn't. Nor does Tally get in the way help. So other bulbous things hit that wall? No. The ones the ones no. Landmine. Landmine? Tally's down again. Yes, that's how it right. <sighs> Come on, Tally, get up. Flashing. Yeah, it is a little frustrating to try and see anything. Yeah. Motherfucker. They, they do improve. They do improve the 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 Oh, the absolutely. Thing. You know, double tapping R when I'm trying to detonate my grenade probably is not helping. Cause now I'm out of grenades. Yeah, you know, maybe. Wonder if they're hostile. Gee, I sure. At least they're really easy to bait. Yeah. Can't be bothered. And to be fair, we're, I don't know, are we getting close to the end? Yeah. I think so. I mean, like, I mean, like the end of the game. Uh, yes, but no. I guess we're supposed to jump down there. Oh, 
it wasn't even a drop. I hate these things because you never be sure when they're gonna get up. In this way, how did the company search for them? I'm hurting it, just not much. And you could probably use a sniper or something. No, it wants me to go through all these guys. That's how you work your coming show. <laughs> they are such a non threat. <laughs> to me, to Tally, they are quite the threat. Yeah. Very angry plant. Very dead plant. One just one. She's blue. I'm free. Yeah. I... I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. Is everything alright? Are you hurt? I am fine. Or... I will be. In time. My name is Shiala. I serve... I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Are you saying Saren can control my Benezia underestimated well, as that. I did. <laughs> we came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel. An enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of its existence. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. What's the Cypher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. You must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. I need the Cypher. 
There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did for Saren. Try to relax, Commander. That's probably not dangerous or anything. No shit. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. Eta still told me nothing. Pretty much, yeah. I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. What was that? Commander Shepard, are you alright? I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. You look a little unsteady, Commander. Perhaps you should return to the Normandy. I am sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. Mm. Nah. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. You go, of course. The only thing I can I overdo indoctrination we'll is more indoctrination. We need to keep this place running. Mm. It's because of you, Shepard. I can't thank you enough. And Greedy McGreederson is now funding the colony revi uh, reviving. How about that? Yeah, well... Hey, he's actually giving us credits. How about that? Yeah, I mean... I like to think it's that he just... Enough. I like to think that this guy just carried his fucking box the whole way. I mean, I'm pretty sure that console is... Like, yeah, it's just a laptop on top of it. Yeah. But no, the, the box. You just carried the box. Oh, yeah, but the doll is still amusing. I just don't think that's what it is. I will do what I can to assist the colony in this difficult time. I am ashamed of the damage done to the lives of these people. Okay. Farewell, Shiela. Farewell, Commander. I wish you well in your hunt. Hey, Salarian dude. Where are you? You. I never thought I would be so thrilled to see a soul... Forgive my previous inaction, but under the Thorian's influence, every thought was examined, filtered. What will you do now that the fighting is over? I may stay, try to recover my losses. I can have new supplies delivered within weeks. Perhaps the colony will survive after all. Let me see what you have in stock. Of course. Return in the future, and I may even have more to see. That's actually an interesting thought. Mm. But... I'm here to get rid of shit. Yep. We do have quite a bit of shit to get rid of. That's a word for it. And yeah, I really do wish we could filter by category. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Colony saved. Time to go debrief and see how annoyed the council are is at us for doing it our way once again. So who's gonna be annoyed at us this time? 
Deterian? Slarian? Or are you sorry? I'm going to go ahead and guess that no matter what you do, one of the council members is going to be upset at you. And it just changes which one. I have honestly no idea because I play this game pretty much the same way every time. Fair enough. Yeah, the other games do shave off a lot of unnecessary walking. Stand by, shore party. Like, the door to the dock progress. would be just a door with the prompt return to Normandy. You look mm. pale. Are you Much suffering quicker. any ill effects from the cipher? The cipher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Do it. Hurry, we don't have much time. Just, you know, in front of everyone. Relax, Commander. I guess it really is very much of a hurry. We get to watch this trippy scene again. It still makes literally no sense. Yeah, like, what, what's it even supposed to mean? All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Come on, get to the point. What did you see? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. You must have seen some. I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there, at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... I'm sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. We're done here. Dismissed. I've sent off the Ferris report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogeny should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. The Thorian liked to enslave minds. Anyone who studied it would have ended up as one of its thralls. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. Being human had nothing to do with it. They were in trouble. Admirable. But sometimes specters have to make sacrifices. I hope you're willing to do that when the time comes. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. Sparatus is a bit of an asshole, isn't he? Yeah. At least he didn't have any actual valid complaints, so everyone else just dismissed it. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Whoa! Hang on. Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Yep. Top priority clearance. Oh, of course. Is it the ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the council. I'll patch it through the comm room. About face. <laughs> they couldn't have told me whatever this was when I was standing here. Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. What kind of information? We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. I'm listening. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, 
We thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. Wait, so not even the Council knows what the Spectres are doing? Uh, Spectres are Black Ops. Full deniability. Ah. Uh. But, that's main story stuff. And let's take a stop by the Citadel first. And also, I think Exogeny's up to no good again. <laughs> to the Citadel. To the shopping spree. And the unskippable cutscene. Of course. It's gonna be a This Exogeny. I like. The one company that's been doing most of the bad shit. Yeah, now that you mention it, you hear their name more than anyone else's. I'm pretty sure that was also the one in, in the other main quest planet we went to, right? No, that was uh, Binary Helix. Oh. So, Exo, if I'm memory serves me, Exogeny was the one that uh, scientists were turned into husks. But that one I don't think is particularly Exogeny's fault. Let's just get that back. Yeah, it's just finding some uh, tech that they really shouldn't have been messing with. Yeah, well... Alright, Exogeny is just greedy. Exogeny is just... Finally, Helix was actually working with Sinex. To be fair... They were just doing what corporations do. It's not like they were willfully trying to help him do his shit. And I guess they technically were working with the matriarch, not the Siren, so I guess they might not have actually known any better. Well, to quote, Saren is supposed to be one of their investors. Uh, so, he, right. so he probably pulled some strings on the project, but it's not like he act, it's not like they actually are aware of what he plans to do anyway. Yeah, the matriarch was the one that was, that was more directly involved. As in, right there in the thick of it, but you know. Yeah. Anywho... Even though the matriarch was literally his slave... Uh, oh my god, Garrus! Yeah. Garrus, having trouble with doors. Huh. You having trouble there, buddy? What are you doing? I would probably be fixed once you like fast travel or something. Yeah. Anyway. Next next up, Citadel stuff, DLC stuff, other side quests. Oh my. Next round. Have fun. Later. Later.